today I don't know if it it's um, suitable to talk meteor <laughs> meteor session here a bit. Uh, but I hope I, I will take short. So actually, slide would be like seven slide, and just um, anyone who is not really into meteor, uh, just bear with us for a few minutes. It's supposed to be a short uh, uh, session. Okay. Uh, yeah, this uh, actually at the last of the slide, uh, after the slide, I will do a quick like run through of the, what I have in my code. So actually, this is not a tutorial, of course, this is just uh, what I experienced and maybe I want to share with um, um, the, 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 the main out. Next one. Okay, why? Uh, actually, um, okay, because we, we just now we heard of dynamic collection. Actually, in Meteor, uh, normally what we do is a single line of a, a Mon new Mongo collection. So actually, you have to know in advance uh, what your direct, what your collection is. Let's say you have a client client collection, and then maybe you have a user collection. You have it. You have to know in advance. But um, what I face is like okay, now I have a like ha I I I was planning like okay, I have a service. Uh, how to say is a service. Yeah, I say as a software as a service, and then uh, I have a new user signing up. And then new users signing up, they, what, what the app is supposed to do is like, okay, this is the agent, a, agency, property agency kind of. Okay, I sign up and then I, ha I can list a lot of my properties. But if you have 1,000 um, user, then each user have 1,000 properties, then you will be grouping up quite a lot of uh, um, records. So what it would be good is I'm thinking, I, I don't know if it depends on use case. I mean, if you are not a uh, really um, thing that is uh, worth it, then, then you can just uh, power everything into one collection. Um, okay, some, the step one is like, okay, prepare a, a, a collection, let's say your client collection, and then the client collection will point to your dynamic collection's name. Let's say you have a new user called James, and then you can dynamically okay in Meteor because like in Meteor the way that we are doing is like okay we we in advance we have a collection folder and then we put all put all our collection inside uh, and the methods or whatever uh, function that you want to but uh, how could you do like okay you have a new user James and then I have a collection called James underscore collection so yeah they might I try to find it online. Um, there are people talking about it, but I copy and, copy and paste and try to error a little bit and then it somehow it works, but um, yeah. But I don't know if it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good practice or what. Okay. okay, and then you publish all your client collection name. So only, only you, of course you can do, this is just a, I, a I'm say it's like a playground. You work with it, uh, they might, there are a lot of other, other, how to say, other enhancement need to be done if you really want to put it into a production or you really want to work um, on your project for it. So, okay, the, the second one is um, publish all the, the client collection, the name of it, or did you, did you like it's a Mongo, you can select what field you want to, you want to retrieve, right? So actually you can just retrieve all the names and then okay, you can add on uh, security if you are not supposed to see certain thing. You can just uh, just do validation on the code. Okay, the the step number three is you have to make sure that because uh, in Meteor uh, we always keep two um, Mongo database. One is on the browser, which is called a MIDI Mongo, and the other one is uh, on the server. So, so what we need to do is just always sync these two uh, two database together then it should be fine so you need to you need to write uh, some small code to make them always initialize okay the fourth one is to insert into those dynamic collection and then to retrieve it I mean like and yeah uh, I, will, I will show you how what are the code that I put in and then it's supposed it's supposed to work so okay thank you so I, I, I already put it onto the GitHub, then if you are interested, you can just open it. I'm done. Oh, I can show you how actually it was done. So uh, hopefully it will work. 
Okay, so actually I have um, a few steps. Uh, as you know, I just run the Meteor server. It take a little time. Okay, so this is a bare, bare Meteor setup. I install it and then I remove the auto publish, I remove the insecure package, and then I add in the iron after. That's, uh, that's all. And then I remove all the, the, the three files that uh, Meteor gave you the JS file, the HTML, and the CSS file. So what it would look like is like um, I have a new uh, I have a new folder called client. Can you see? Uh, okay. Hopefully you can see. But uh, anyway, okay. This is a client folder, and then inside it they have only one HTML tag, or HTML markup. So it has nothing in it. As you can see, I make it bigger. Okay. It has nothing for this step. Okay. And then the next the the, the first step is to prepare. Um, a login form that you can insert it into your collection. Okay, um, this uh, I will I will start um, I will start a MongoDB um, um, console. Can you see? Hopefully you can. Okay, and then uh, I show all the collection. So far uh, we don't have anything. Okay, and then I move on to the next step that I. Okay, this step, what it does is, uh, um, can see this file? Actually, I create a super simple, um, super simple form input and retrieve, which is, uh, yeah, which will be like this. Okay, this is a simple, okay, let's say, okay, yeah, uh, bear with the, 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 the unstyled thing. Okay, this is like create, create a client. Okay, let's say I have a new client called James. Okay, I create, and then it has a James here, right? So actually, what actually inside the database is like, okay, this client client collection, I have one client collection, db.client.find. Okay, I have this guy called James, and then I have the collection name called, um, arbitrarily named collection underscore James. So what, um, what I would like to do is like, okay, now you have this new guy, and then whenever he added new item, he's, it's the, the system supposed to create a new collection for James. So, okay, at this part, okay, I click on the name, and then it just show me, okay, this, the, the collection name is this, this guy, okay. So, do I, until, uh, up to here, I believe that it's not, no problem, right? I mean, I, those, those who use uh, Meteor, they're supposed to already know how to, like, how to save into a, a collection and then how to retrieve it. Anyone have any question? <laughs> Sorry? Okay, so the snapper is very easy. Okay, I, I, I show you how, or how, me, how Meteor actually work. Okay, uh, I mean like, hopefully I can quickly run through it. Why the color? Which should I break on? I'm afraid that this guy cannot see it. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Uh, the first portion is the create client, which actually is a, just a simple form. Uh, yeah, you have a ID text client name, and then you have a submit button. And then the next one is uh, a list of the client that you you have. And then the third one is just say, okay, what is the, 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 the one that you click on? So actually, and then... And then I have, I have a client collection, definitely. This one is fixed, which means that I only have one client collection in the Mongo. And then this is to create the client. Okay, this is a, this is a boilerplate kind of a Meteor setup, which you want to insert data into the collection. So, okay, this is collection underscore, because I just, uh, I just replace all the, the name that you type in with an underscore, I mean like a smaller, uh, lower case and then underscore. So, and then I put it in, and then I put the name of the, the, the name of the guy that you input, and then, yeah, I just written the ID, that's all. So, this is the submit form, which I think if anyone interested in how actually Meteor work, you can just like, um, 
go online and because it's like it's super simple. So okay, until this step is uh, is nothing new, I think. Okay, next one is. Okay, now we add a record into. Uh, it will be created. Um, it would be created that collection. Okay, what it does is um, it has an init file which I put in. Uh, cannot see here. Can I make it big? Okay, no. okay. Anyway, okay. Actually, I only change uh, a few places. I only change four places here. One. This is a new file which is uh, init, and then I put it into a library folder, which actually has a bit of a um, code. But basically, the code is to make sure that. Um, if you don't have the collection initialized, initialize them now. So yeah, there's a uh, that is on the client side, and then this is on the server side. Uh, yeah, just check the, the code if you if you are interested. Okay. Next one is to add in no okay okay still this one, which which basically is just extra item is this uh, this this thing. Which I will add in. Okay, uh, any record for for this client. Okay, let's say James has an email call. I don't know James at James dot com. Okay, at the at current state, we only have one one collection. That's a like client collection. So, but as long as we add a new record into this client. Okay, I click add. Okay, uh, I have I haven't I need to clear this this one, but uh, those are okay. Show collection. Then you will see that actually it created a new uh, collection underscore James, and then you can search for this guy. So so what it what I added in is just like just an email for 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 this new collection. Of course, you can add in whatever you want to add in. So okay, so. So that is how to edit it. So the next one is how to retrieve it. Okay, the retrieve is um, kind of similar. Um, we have a new route. Um, okay, new route. So which will look into the collection, which will subscribe to the the detail of those collection, and then retrieve it back. So it's here. I need to run the server. Sorry, it's not. I got a new. Collection called James, I suppose. Okay, so this is basically how you retrieve the information from this collection. So, so now, let's say if I add in a new James 2, I would say. Add, then it will quickly add into the the new dynamic collection. Yeah. Any problem so far? Uh, actually, I'm I'm done. Sorry. Yes. Any question? Um, because I just realized something that I need to have. It, it, it actually related to the topic today, so I want to give a quick three minutes. Um, yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Do you need it? I need it. I need it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, because I don't have slides. All right. So, um, very quick, three minutes. So, um, I write media packages, and um, and I actually. All right. So I'm still writing this, but uh, but 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 um, based to this is called DB Butler, and um. And I think so today is about MongoDB and, and also talking a lot about relations and stuff like that. So uh, as we as we can see that MongoDB doesn't provide like, uh, like ODM and then you you have to uh, write it yourself. So um, yes, uh, 
uh, uh, uh, supposed to be ODMORM, so yeah, I, I, it's a typo. So anyway, I just get three minutes uh, overview of what this is and why this will make your life a lot easier if you are a media developer. So right now, um, there's something called uh, me, uh, Mongo, Mongo ID or Mongoid. Uh, anyone using that in your media? Like mini Mongoid. So uh, they basically did provide uh, ODM. But then, um, so JavaScript is a prototype based uh, class orientation language. But then uh, a lot of other languages are Ruby on Rails that are class based. So I realized that actually, if you're using MongoDB, then th and you want to build an ODM uh, object uh, document mapping, then actually you should just do it in the more prototype uh, base instead of class base, and then just use closure and prototype. So I believe this code is a lot more efficient than the one that's, that's tried to that's use CoffeeScript. Because CoffeeScript basically mimic class base or, or, uh, in your JavaScript, yeah. So, um, so, so, the, so, so this is, um, I'm still writing, working on this package, this package of DB Butler, and, and it uses the factory design pattern. So instead of use, writing like a new Mongo collection book, you just write DB Butler period books. And after that, you can just insert it. Because DB Butler kind of remember what's the, the previous one that you have created. And then you can create collection with schema, but of course it's partial schema because, well, um, this is no SQL. So the schema is more used for validation and stuff like that. And then you can edit some document and basically, um, I, I just make, like, like add, the, add some syntax sugar to it. So if you are using the normal collection, you, you, need, you need to write more stuff. And then I just simplify it. And then there's many to many uh, relation, which is very easy to do. So just prepare it and then do a one of one, immediately done. And then you can do an insert this of the collection. Then you insert it with the, uh, suppose we, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, foreign key, yeah, yes, with the foreign key. And then, um, then these are many to many, and then uh, you can also, that's one to many, uh, uh, then this is many to many. So basically, it makes, if you are a media developer, uh, how, many, how many of you are a media developer? Yeah. So um, if you happen to need this, and uh, you can read my source code, but I'm still writing it, um, you will find that it's, basically I don't use class and, uh, and it's just very prototype uh, feel, yeah. And we got a vibe there, yeah. So, and then you can prepare, and uh, actually, the, the reason why I write, oh yeah, oh yeah, and then you can do hook, and then there's more um, database interaction, like you can do an uh, increase, or you can look at one remove, or, I, I mean, so, I, so, so it's basically like, yeah, and then you can do uh, loop hooks. And then basically the reason why I'm writing this is because I'm building a system management system in Meteor, which, um, so it's not a content management system. It's, uh, it's like, so it, let's say you are building a social network platform uh, application like Facebook, Twitter. So right now what I'm doing is that I'm trying to write an app that manage your business logic and, and your internal of your data structure and everything. So, so right now, uh, I, write, I wrote this package, and I'm writing a lot more packages for my this platform, which I will launch probably next month. So if I'm still in Singapore next month, I'll talk about this thing. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, but, yeah, by the way, I, have, I haven't sleep for 24 hours, so yeah, let's get <laughs> this done. Yeah, I'm a little bit, uh, yeah. So, so, I mean, I just write, I just wrote, working on this this morning. So, and then I, I came to this talk, and I didn't know that actually you guys are just talking about MongoDB, and, and I mean, well, this is very related yeah. to it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, hooks, and then um, yeah. So, 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 my idea about the system uh, management system is that I, I feel that everything can be just become, become JSON. So, let's say you have a you have an entire database, you, a, a user action, everything can be just JSON lines, JSON file, or whatever. So, so, basically, um, instead of writing code, you just Use the interface to make a JSON and then put so, so and then uh, put this like so so oh yeah by the way this is very flexible so as you can see uh, you can pre put insert here actually you can also specify put here or you can just assign to a cat then and just uh, insert a cat yeah. and then um, and um, so uh, yeah you can just prepare book and then with the relation and the schema and everything so I try to do it in a way that everything is JSON okay so is it an instance or is it all right, so, so actually, uh, do you want to look at source code? No. All right, uh, okay. So, so uh, actually, the Butler is like a factory. So, fact, um, I mean, you know that now we're going to do 
a new construct something we are making a prototype of it and then uh, later we make, add more stuff to it yeah so db butler do everything behind the scenes and then inside very nicely kind of a closure yeah a, a magical world where only db butler can see it so it's all inside closure and then um so, yeah, so, so you can do three other books, and then this is doing like new Mongo collection book, and then this is the relation here, and then uh, insert, and then you can off the right I mean, yeah, basically, basically that's it, yeah. So, sorry, uh, have you taken a look at other pages? Yes. So, uh, let's see, simple schema or PMDB? Yes. Yeah, so, for yours, it seems like you can drop in and replace this. Uh, yeah, so, so, so at, yes, and it's actually, it's actually the reason why I wrote this is because I, I mean, there's a lot of packages out there, and the, the thing that they use or the way that you write, like, the, the way that you use them are quite different. So, so, so right now, because I'm building assistance, I want it to be a systematic way, more standard way. So, now right now, everything is just a JSON. So, in assistance, when I do some kind of, um, uh, like, I, I use a uh, graphical user interface, I drag something, I, I, I kind of draw like a database uh, relation, and then you just create a JSON file. Uh, not JSON, yeah, just a JSON object. And then this thing will, will generate another media application using uh, another media application will take in a JSON app, and with the with this library and all other library that I'll be writing. So I'll be writing I will be writing iron router so because I don't like I don't like iron router. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I mean I will be writing like Main thing because I mean I, I like writing code and uh, okay. Yeah. So since you're writing this, when will this be ready? Um, I try to get a small demo of like Twitter application okay. next month. Yeah. So so is that you can see uh, you can see the the back, the app system management system generating a Twitter meter app and they are separate separate. So because I mean um as you can see meter that you get the whole whole chunk of everything inside. So that's why I, I want to make it separate, yeah. And then, um, and, and then everything, every logic of the app will be just JSON, 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 JSON. Yeah. So we can edit easy and yeah. Okay, thanks. So.